Viper worm. <laughs> Been making them draw these pesky specters. <laughs> the pesky specters. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some meme tier Monday. We have four fun viewer submitted decks today for meme tier Monday. First one's going to be a crazy one. And these are all going to be kind of crazy because it's meme tier day. We're going to be playing Pesky Spectre and Starlet Epiphany together. That's right. Two <laughs> definite meme cards that we're throwing together in the same deck. First one, Pesky Spectre. All right, so it's zero mana one one that has the last breath create two copies of me in the enemy deck. So that's what we're going to be trying to do. We're going to try to like just play some pesky specters, copy it with fading memories so we can make more of them, and fill the enemy deck with pesky specters so that they draw a pesky specter. We'll also have uh, like scribe of sorrows that can make more copies of pesky specter, or stalking shadows that can go find two copies for us. And basically just put a bunch of copies in there <laughs> for the opponent. And uh, yeah, then that will fill their deck with zero mana 1-1, one, one, something they do not want. Um, we can even have Callista, like if, if we are able to get like three pesky specters and have them all die, we could level up our Callista and then attack with Callista, put in pesky specter <laughs> if it's the only thing that's died so far. And, uh, you know, then get more pesky specters in their deck that way. All right, so that's that's step one get a lot of pesky specters in their deck and then they'll draw into the pesky specters and then they'll put pesky specters back in our deck right because then they'll be playing it and it'll create two copies of them back in our deck okay but now we don't want to just draw pesky specters anymore we want to have good cards so then at that point then we starlit epiphany and we just get rid of our deck and replace it with 20 copies of behold the infinite <laughs> And so that, then we don't have any Pesky Specters anymore, and then we have Behold the Infinites. All of this is, like, pretty crazy, and I don't know if, like, any of this will ever work. But that's, like, the thinking behind the deck for the person that made it and the person who donated for it to see it on stream. So let's see if, if it ever works. You know, we're going to have just other, like, early units that we're going to be able to play. We'll be able to sacrifice stuff. We'll be able to sacrifice our Pesky Specters to different cards as well. Um, yeah, that's kind of, you know, that's kind of, like, what we may have happen. So... Let's go ahead and get to it. Let's try some pesky epiphany. We'll go play five games in normal. That's what we do here on meme tier days. We just play our decks in normal. All right, we got Karma Victor for our first deck. This is another opponent that doesn't mind playing a long game, just like we don't mind playing a long game. So it'll be interesting to see how this will work out. I'm gonna go ahead and mulligan these two. I'm gonna keep stalking shadows that could hit um, Pesky Specter, and then we could play like the Worm afterwards. Now, of course, we have the Curse Keeper Ravenous Butcher combo, um, aka Curse Keeper plus Crawling Viper Worm combo. We each hold the world within. <laughs> it is time. Mm, I'll go ahead and do this right now. Just so we can immediately attack. Yeah, that was to be expected. Hopefully we get to draw two cards. Alright, cool. Draw two. Oh man, that fading memories would have been really good on the curse keeper. So we have a lot of cards that need us to sacrifice. They may have thought that that was their second spell. That's what I'm guessing. That's why they played the time trick right there because they th they thought it was gonna be their second spell, but it was actually only their first spell. Let's see what we get. 
All right, Warren's Prey and Cursed Keeper. Let's take the Cursed Keeper. Maybe we should have taken Warden's Prey. Maybe we should have taken Warden's Prey. Warden's Prey would only cost one mana instead of two. But we just don't get the four twos. Maybe I should take a large prey. Hello. 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 Oh yes, she does all business. Yes, of course. And of decor Oh man, I think it's elusive now as well. Thanks for that resub, T Tree. I, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Thanks for that continued support. the 4-2 didn't block a 4-2 and they blocked a 3-2 instead. Man, that thing has lifesteal. Also, definitely gonna have to ruination away this victor. Ugh, with challenger. We don't need to ruination now. Pretty good attack. I could play Pesky Spectre and then the Viper Worm, but pretty good attack here. Alright, before the Spirit Leech goes away, I'm actually going to make a copy of the Spirit Leech, actually. Let's let's have another one of those, because I feel like we're going to need to draw some more cards. I feel like that's something we're going to need to have. Oh no, Glorious Evolution. That card is... Kind of unfair. I love Glorious Evolution, though. We need to play more Glorious Evolution. Okay, so we've given them some... We've given them four pesky specters so far. the cost dying to a ruination because if so that's what's gonna happen three mana deny what oh glorious evolution i was like oh man i get to play this ruination right here Yeah, this is our first game of the day, McCann's.
death. What is gained when we return malevolence? Yeah, and glorious evolution's nice. Okay, one karma gone. That's important, for sure. They found the victor with that time trick. Opponent's deck's pretty good. Victory and Karma are both really underrated champions. They work great together as well. Opponent's deck is very good. I think that's a good combination of champion, like two champions there, Victor and Karma. Yeah, this is pretty awesome. They missequenced some stuff earlier, like with the Dragolings and everything, but it has been just fine for them. And that should be... Oh, maybe not lethal. Uh, down to two. Probably can't just die to a Mystic Shant. Get quick attack. Oh, so when they get quick attacks, they can have like double quick attack. The dark beckons. Yes, of course. Yes. Genius in action. No materials, no improvements. I don't think there's anything in my deck that can handle a victor anymore. I guess I could have just played this just to simply invoke and look for the six mana obliterate. We need some blighted caretakers. <laughs> Alright. GG's Victor. Genius. I can't do anything about that, Victor. Alright, GG's. One, or O oh, and one. Diego. The deny really. Helped, right? Yeah, that, that deny was pretty good on a Ruination. Okay, this is kind of what we want our deck to start with. Obviously, we're not playing the Pesky Spectre immediately. We want to wait on that. Uh, but I can round three, play Pesky, and then double Fading Memory it, and have a leveled up Karma. That's something we could have. Let's see what we get with this. Take this. Oh, I, I said Karma, not Callista. I'm sorry. I must be known. Guess I'm too scarred from my previous opponent. No, Pesky Spectre has never seen any competitive play. All 
Alright, let's start maybe leveling up our um, Zoe a little bit. Alright, so that'll be leveled up Callista. And it'll be able to attack and put another Undying in play. So we're kind of doing stuff. That's kind of doing stuff. That's kind of doing stuff. I don't exactly know what that stuff is yet, but it's tough. It's like, who's the better undying, the undying duck? I want to play Moon Dreamer right now, but that wouldn't let me keep the mana available. Maybe we just play a Viper Worm. And we'll eat the 3-3 three, three, or the 4-4? Four, four? I guess the 3-3. Three, three. Man, I want to Black Spear the Mask Mother, but I also want to Hush the Undying. We, we can do one of those two, Black Spear or Hush. This thing's going to be blocking, and we, we'll either block here and Black Spear, or we block here and Hush. I think we probably Black Spear. Which, I guess it's better to block this thing. I just want to save two life, so I guess it's better to block that thing than block the Undying, isn't it? I'd like to get a zero mana card with this, the super cool star chart. Alright, so that fourth card is Viego. I guess I could play Curse Keeper. No, no, we don't need Curse Keeper. Because we, we already have a full board. We have another Undying. Equinox or Crescent Strike. Diego's gonna be big. Hope they don't play Ruination. Hope their plan is just Diego this round. Yep. Okay, so who's not attacking? Because we're gonna put it. Well, put another Undying in. Maybe I don't even want another Undying, actually. You know what? I don't think I do. Put another Undying in, that is. Yeah, it protects Callista. Obey your king. But yeah, it would have been just a 2-2. You matter so little. So I'm down to two. I need multiple block you know, I need a lot of blockers out him at six. These undyings are a problem. If I play Spirit Leech. There's no stun two. 
I don't think any of these... My, my Zoe's at 9, but none of these actually level up my Zoe, unfortunately, I don't think. Oh, shouldn't have played that. I thought there's no risk in playing that thing. I shouldn't have played it. Oh, I could have the Withering Whale. I don't want the Withering Whale anyway. Yeah, never mind. But... Yeah, unfortunately, none of these cards actually level up the Zoe. I need, you know, I needed one more card to level up Zoe, and none of them do. All right, so you can stay alive blocking that. You can block this thing. You can block that. You can block. I don't know one of these. And you shoot that. Um. I guess there's. I guess that's a better block, because then that doesn't kill the undying. I just, I took a little bit there thinking, like, do I want a Fading Memories, any of these, like, especially, like, like these, do I want a Fading Memories, a Camerborn Soldier, before it dies, to have, you know, something with multiple blockers, but I don't think I do. So close, we had Zoe at 9 out of 10, when we when we get at the beginning of the round and I played three three cards and I couldn't get Zoe to uh, level up after three cards and you know that would have been nice because then the charger would have given all my stuff overwhelm afterwards and you know would have like fury oh and then the Zoe would have had it all elusive also so an open attack gives me four lethal attackers to their uh, two blockers we can just make it six attackers though. I can go Curse Keeper, Viper Worm. I think that's a good plan. Let's just play this Charger first, see what happens. Submission or death for all who leave. So I'm glad no Vile Feast. At least not a Vile Feast yet, I suppose. They're not going to have a Withering Will, are they? I mean, I sure hope not. What do you think I'm doing? I'm acting right now. Death begins oh, that was good for them. Oh, that was good. Okay, well. Gives me five lethal attackers. Or sorry, sorry. Gives me six, six lethal attackers. They have five blockers. Yeah, I guess an open attack would have been better, but we did waste seven of their mana, right? Like, so they, they only have four mana left to try to survive. Oh, I don't have seven. Oh, because never mind. They just blocked the cliff and then this thing dies. Oh, I should have put another lethal attacker out there. Oh, this didn't work out at all. Oh, this wasn't a good plan. I can, I... I didn't think about the this thing just dying whenever they blocked the Callista. You cannot stop me! This wasn't a good plan at all. Obey your king. That's not lethal. The shadow wires are just the beginning. Yeah, I should have opened a deck. So this is going to steal an Undying from me. I want to play the Moon Dreamer, but I can't. We have to go wider. I, I mean, I should have played Zoe first. That could have just been 1 out of 10 for Zoe, if that would matter. Okay, well, that turn was incorrectly played by me. Okay, so I guess that happened before the Undyings came back. I was thinking that they would be taking the Undying, but no, that's not how that worked. I will find someone. So I got three blockers. Why would you not attack with Viego? That doesn't really make a lot of sense, not to attack with Viego. Of 
bathroom. Very good. Constellations are stories in the sky. There is no rest in game. Whenever it's lazy, you need to drain one. Remember me, little one. Please. Okay, so that's just gonna kill my undying. They're not gonna take it, it'll just kill it. Or they take and it kills their undying. Wow. Even better. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, I'm one mana short. Yeah, one mana short from what I want to do with Curse Keeper, Butcher, Box, Meteor Shower. They have three blockers. Arithmetics! Oh, four blockers. Alright, I need to get a zero cost card. No. But the living legends could do some work. So they have Viego, the Prey, the Pesky Spectre, and the Encroaching Mist that can block. If I attack out, they just like kill my Moon Dreamer, kill my Escaped Abomination. Yeah, it doesn't work. All right, well I guess I guess I just pass. I don't know. I don't I don't have any other options. I guess. Av Carter with the donation. Got to move to a nice round amount again. Thank you so much there, Av Carter. Getting us to that 70, getting that $5 donation gets us 75 out of 100 for our donation goal for these cosmetics this time around. Thank you so much. Okay, so the open attack, again, and not attacking with Viego. I don't know why they're not attacking with Viego again, but they're not. Okay, we can make this block and stay alive. For now. Alright, Supernova, get rid of the Viego. The final moments of a star. Oh wait, 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 that was my 6-3. Oh no, I shouldn't obliterate that. That was actually wait, that was my undying. Oh no. I should have got rid of the O1. And I could have just blocked the O1 also. What am I doing? I'm sorry, I got distracted there <laughs> with the donation and everything. I got distracted. I kind of forgot what I was doing. My bad. Anyway. It's still a good, good open attack. Let me just play this first just in case we see something. Okay, now Pesky Spectre, whatever. Alright, good attack. Here we go. All right, not punished. <laughs> Basically, they could have like that O1 could have gone away, and I could have a six six, like very easily. Which no, I guess I wouldn't. I have actually that worked out perfectly, because well, not perfectly. I should have blocked the O1, but since I obliterated the undying, if I didn't, they would have mask mothered the undying, and they would have kept the undying, and I would not have got the undying back. Okay, so it all works out. Pesky Epiphany getting a win. 
And those of y'all watching later on YouTube, if you'd like to help donate towards our um, cosmetic goal for all of the different boards and stuff to go along with the Viego release, um, there is a donation link in the uh, dis video description there over on YouTube. Well, we're going to be playing round one Zoe, and that's a good start. I think we'll just keep everything else also. Could get rid of the fading memories, but... I don't know, fading memories cool. Get some more pesky specters in their deck. I, bear a message from... oh, hey, what's that? I am planning on round two going pesky specter and viper worm. So I can have a 4-3 fury attacking. So me attacking for five right now. I could make an attack for six with the playing this pesky, but I kind of want to save this pesky for the glimpse beyond. But actually, actually, we're gonna make a new pesky with the scrap of sorrows anyway. Sure, let's make an attack for six. All right, doing five. And now they have four pesky specters in their deck somewhere. They probably aren't too happy about. All right, we, we have either, you know, a one-third chance of making Zoe. Oh, I was hoping we'd make a Zoe. Hoping we would make a Zoe. Oh, it's on. Hmm. This keeps them from getting the 3-2. Keeps the Blade Twirler from growing. That wasn't ideal. My, I wanted to just play Pesky Spectre plus Spirit Leech this round. That was not the ideal situation for this round. It's a fast pass. to pass a lot before that. Viper Worm. Vision to see what others cannot. Okay, cool. We're definitely playing I'm definitely playing the Ruination next round. That is for sure. Had them extend. We've had a lot of card advantage with our spirit leeches and stalking shadows and stuff. And really hoping they don't have deny. Want to be able to kill both champions. They would have five cards left. I would have seven. But then they have all ten mana. Hmm. If the journey doesn't get you the road. <laughs> Been making them draw these pesky specters. I'll tell a story. My thing is the meteor shower can maybe kill that thing. Maybe. Down to just two cards. It, does, it only does two damage. 
We got a lot more cards than they do. Face my fate. Your turn. Go down to 11. You can go down to 11. This would leave me with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 other mana. So I think we have to have the Celestial Ally in play, I think, not in hand. I'm not exactly sure about that. Maybe a Celestial Ally in hand would work also. You know, right now I don't have one anyway, because this this does not count as a Celestial Ally. <laughs> the Pesky Spectres. They want to give me those pesky specters. I have two cards left. Hopefully neither card saves Yasuo. It doesn't. There we go, we got two wins. We made our opponent draw so many pesky specters that game. I think they drew three. And they didn't have like any card draw, so that was just running them out of cards. Okay, Misfortune Aurelia. They're going to try to kill us right away. I could see this Ruination actually being pretty good for like round six. Maybe we keep that Ruination and and just kind of fool them. Like they think... I try to find some more blockers and stuff and then... Just like randomly have a Ruination. Maybe this is a bad plan. I guess their deck probably has a good amount of recall stuff, doesn't it? Okay, maybe the Ruination's a bad plan. Good news is I have a good just one, two, three, four that we can kind of curve out with anyways and not worry about Ruination. All in the shoulders. Be a backup plan. Oh, yes. she does all what? Not attacking with the two one? Do they not? Do they not want me to block with Zoe or something? Stand behind me. They won't hurt you. If they hurt you, I'd never forgive myself. Pesky Spectre. This card's great at blocking. The strong don't want mercy. The Taskmaster's awesome. Ooh, double taskmaster. Extra awesome. A line around me. If I block with the 4-1 Spirit Leech, that will level up Callista, and therefore I can attack next round with a level up Callista. So that's pretty appealing. I think we're gonna do that. I think we'll take the Crescent Strike. So my plan this round, I guess, is going to be Cursed Keeper plus Glimpse Beyond, I guess. I don't really have a good plan for this round. You know, with playing the one mana super cool star chart, the problem with that is then I don't have, like, the Zoe Sleepy Trouble Bubble plus uh, Paddle Star. That takes five mana. Shoulder set. Blade sharpened. Plant that lead foot. Don't worry. I've danced this a hundred times. It'd be nice to level up Zoe before Ruination. Not sure if that's completely realistic or not, but it'd be nice. We're at 6 out of 10. Ok, 
Okay, Scribe of Sorrows. Do something. Looking for trouble? No. It found you. That is the problem card right there. I was hoping to hit Pesky Spectre. Love ya. to ruination as soon as possible. Yeah, I think I think Zoe would level if ruination's the tenth card. That was the worst possible thing. Then hold on to mine. We'll face them together. Literally the worst possible card to see. Okay, well, GG's. Love ya. So I need to try to do this ruination earlier, I guess. Yeah, I need to just go for ruination, or or just the sleepy trouble ball will try to kill something. It would not, I guess the sleepy trouble ball kill something would not have worked because the twin disciplines. So yeah, I mean that those are the cards in their deck, but they had a very good distribution of the cards in their deck. Alright, I shall keep all of these. And I couldn't quite get enough, like... Like, I, I mulligan... My big mistake there, I mulligan both Fading Memories, and the Fading Memories would have been pretty nice with having the Pesky Spectre. Like, I couldn't just get quite enough um, cheap blockers, right? Like, we just couldn't have, basically... We just didn't have any blockers. Yeah, there's only two Starlight Epiphanies in the deck, so I wouldn't expect to be able to do that very often, but we have not been able to do that yet. Alright, let's see what we get. A Scribe of Sorrows? So, with getting Scribe of Sorrows... Does it, it makes me not want to play like the butcher or the or like any of these things. I don't want to have very many things die because I, I want to have like a better chance of hitting Zoe. So now we're at like a 50 50 shot of hitting Zoe. Zoe. Monster Harpoon. That's a pretty good hit. Monster Harpoon's a pretty good hit. Let's do this. Kinda wanna harpoon that. Keep them from enabling plunder. Keep them from level on both their champions.
So perhaps force them to put more things out for ruination and stuff anyway. So yep, there we go. They wanted to enable plunder very easily, so force them at least to spend another card to do that. Kind of just spinning their wheels. <laughs> it's always great getting my opponent pesky specter. That's always good. Oh, Ice Shard. They definitely have a Sejuani in hand. That's what I think they're going to be playing this round right here. I think it's I think it's that card. Oh, that was the card that I thought that was the Sejuani. Okay, so that's the Dreadway. Double all damage dealt by stuff. Come on, attack with the Dreadway. I'm blocking with the 3-1 over the 2-2 two, two, basically because of Ice Shard, but I guess all their things are doubled damage-wise. So does this count as having an ally for the Starlight Epiphany? I don't I just don't know. I just don't know. I guess let's find out. Okay, it does not. We have 26 cards in our deck, not 20. Words are lost in the roar of the winds. The war of the wind. Call. Stop them from fleeing. Tap this to your bill. Touch in my sights. So we know they have a Sejuani, and we know that they have a Game Plank. At least, we thought they had a Sejuani. I guess they just drew a Freljord card, which could have been that Ice Shard, I suppose. Water is mine and mine alone. So it's possible to do that. I really forget and never forget. I really wonder how the box will work with Powder Keg. Next round, they make another Powder Keg. Will the box kill th those Powder Kegs? Wonder how that will work. Certainly hoping they play something else first. No. I just have not been playing into my ruination whatsoever. Make them scream. Really need them to play one other thing first here, and then I. That's what I was definitely hoping, and then I'd ruination, but. This puts me down to five. Doesn't, doesn't matter how we block, everything dies. It do, oh, it does nine, because it does six. Right, it does the extra three damage to me, so it puts me down to two. Well, that's worse. Okay, so yeah, the box does not actually help with that. I was hoping it would. Should have played the Moon Dreamer. Would have saved two life instead of the Curse Keeper. All 
All right, I'm probably dead. So many stars. Too greedy. I guess I need to play the ruination. Oh, why can't I have that? I need that. That would have saved me six life. Oh, I needed you. I guess I was too greedy on the ruination. I had to kill the gangplank. I kind of feel like just silencing this dreadway was the wrong thing. That I should have grabbed the six mana obliterate. And I don't see a way for me to win this game. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, it looks like this is over. But we still went two and three with a pesky specter silent epiphany deck. Alright, well that's just lethal. I I uh, obviously it's hindsight's tough, but you know, I decisions I made there weren't it wasn't an easy game to play, but just <laughs> none of the decisions I made worked out. And sometimes that happens, right? Like, sometimes that does happen. You know, like, the different invoke cards. Like, getting that 9-mana um, elusive thing. Like, that's just too expensive. That card didn't really matter. I, I probably should have chose something else. And, you know, so I should have just done a couple of different things there. Um, like, I think I could have gotten... At that time, I think I could have got the Meteor Shower, deal 4, deal 1. And hindsight, if I would have grabbed that, then I could have used the box plus that deal 4, deal 1, and then killed both the Gangplank and that Dreadway the turn they played the Gangplank. Um, and and still been able to hold on to the Ruination, right? So, like, there's just different things that I could have done. Anyway, that's going to be it here, though, for Pesky Epiphany. Very glad that we got to win two games with it. That, uh, very glad about that. Pesky Spectre looked kind of cool, you know? Like, it actually, like, it really hurt my Yasuo opponent. Like, that we uh, got to play this, just, like, uh, give them multiple copies of Pesky Spectre, and they didn't really have card draw, and they were just drawing into the Pesky Spectres. So that was pretty cool. I like the Pesky Spectre with, like, Viper Worm and Spirit Leech and stuff like that, like, where we could play the Spectre and then immediately sacrifice it. It actually played played pretty well. It actually played pretty well. Uh, the whole Starlight Ep Epiphany part of our deck, I don't know. We just didn't have... It's This clause was really difficult to enable in our deck. We just didn't... We don't have hardly anything else that invokes, and so the whole uh, if you have a Celestial Ally, that was really difficult to actually make. And then I don't even know if that's really a payoff of just only drawing Behold the Infinite the rest of the game. This is a weird card. This is a weird card. And so I don't know. This didn't really fit in our deck. But the whole Shadow Isles part of our deck honestly looked kind of good. It looked pretty good. All right. But anyway, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments. Hopefully y'all uh, enjoyed the deck. Hopefully y'all enjoyed seeing Pesky Spectre uh, do some cool stuff and everything like that let me know over in the comment section but as always thank you so much for watching and i will see you for the next video